everyone in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to get this Ariana Grande look now I've had these stickers for about two years and I really wanted to use them in a tutorial and then I saw this music video and then I was like oh my gosh these are the exact stickers they stuck to her head in this music video. anyways so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial please give it a thumbs up if you like it I work very hard on my tutorials so giving it a thumbs up helps me out and also giving it a thumbs up helps my videos get into your news feed so if you um, want my videos in your news feed give it a thumbs up I'll let the tutorial begin Take care. Bye. Use an eyeshadow primer to help your eyeshadows last longer and help your shadows really pop. I'm using Maybelline's 24 hour color tattoo and since there's already a bronze color to it, the pigmentation in my shadows is really going to stand out. Now I'm using Physicians Formula Color Bronze Strip as my eyeshadow. I mix the two middle colors together. I then use the lightest color in that palette as my brow bone highlight. That's it for the eyeshadow. It's not complicated for this look. What is very important to this look, or any Ariana Grande look, is the wing. So use a gel liner or eyeliner pencil to create a wing. You want to look straight into a mirror and pretend there's a line connecting the outer corner of your eye to the end of your eyebrow. That's the shape you want to follow for your wing. Then slowly connect the eyeliner on your lash line to the wing. The liner starts off thin in the inner corner of your eye and gradually gets thicker toward the outer corner of the eye. In the Zen music video, Ariana's wing is a little thicker than it normally is. Once you've got the wing down, you want to use an eyeliner pencil to line your tight line and rim the rest of your eye, including the waterline. I'm using NYX black eyeliner pencil. Apply plenty of mascara to your top lashes. You don't have to apply too much to your lower lashes. And then you need thick eyelashes for this look. Um, that's if you want to recreate it exactly how it is in the music video. But if you want to make it a little bit more wearable, you do not need to use eyelashes. To help blend the real and fake eyelashes together, apply more mascara. Now you can fill in your brows. This is totally up to you. Ariana Grande doesn't totally like make her eyebrows thick the way like the Kardashians do. So you can fill in your brows a little bit and not too dark. They totally used an airbrush filter in this music video, so to get that look in real life, use a concealer or a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone and apply it directly below your eyes and onto the top of your cheekbones. This is really going to brighten up your skin and make it look flawless. You want to use a full coverage concealer. Now go ahead and apply your foundation of choice, and I want to say I know a lot of younger girls will probably see this video. If you don't need foundation, don't wear it. I'm telling you, the later you use it, the better it is going to be for your skin. So, you know, do that. Now I'm going to be using a matte bronzer to contour my cheekbones and give a little glow to my face. So whatever I have left over on my brush after contouring, I lightly dust it all over my face. Ariana Grande does the Chola lip a lot with her makeup. Now it's not the typical lip you're thinking of, instead it's a more wearable version where she used two lip liners, a darker one on the outside and a lighter one on the inside of the lip. I'm using OCC's lip liner in Penny Royal, a nudish brown lip liner, love this color, and then I apply NYX Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo on top of that. If you want to complete the look in the music video, apply stickers to your head. I got mine from Joanne Fabrics and then you can apply rhinestones, one on each side of the outer corner of your eye. And then one near the center of your brow. We're beginning to see. So that's it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. YouTube changed the way things are nowadays. So if you don't interact with my videos much, like you don't watch them too often, you don't like or you don't comment, well, YouTube thinks you do not like my channel and I won't pop up in your newsfeed, even if you do watch my tutorials, just because they think you do not like me. So please give the video a thumbs up or interact with me a little bit more so YouTube knows you want to see my videos in your newsfeed. So I'll see you guys next Saturday with another wearable look. Take care. Bye.